This is Rosie Modena from Generations, welcoming you to Speaking Books. If you or a loved one have had a positive diagnosis of HIV AIDS, it is normal to feel worried, angry, blame yourself, feel guilty or afraid. You may feel despair and sadness and worry about how to tell your partner or family. HIV AIDS is an illness that is life-threatening, but you can live positively if you take care of yourself and your loved ones. This book will help you with advice on things you can do to feel better. You do not have to suffer alone. If for more than three weeks you have feeling of sadness, crying, not sleeping well, losing weight, feeling isolated or rejected, worthless, and have no interest in the things you used to do, then you may have depression. Sometimes you may also have physical symptoms. These can be headaches, stomach aches and more pain than usual, sweating or you may be anxious all the time. If you have had these symptoms for over two weeks, they may not be only due to your AIDS diagnosis, you may also have depression. First, find someone to talk to at your clinic, a social worker, a home-based care worker, church leader, or a good friend. Reach out and ask for help, or call the helpline on the back page for help available in your area. If, however, you start to think of death and dying, or feel you can't continue living, or even thinking of suicide, perhaps everything looks bleak and you feel hopeless, then you need to go for mental health help urgently. Don't let your diagnosis of AIDS prevent you from seeking help. Go to your local clinical doctor. She will ask you questions. Do tell her how you are feeling. She may even suggest that you have depression. This is a treatable illness and she can help you. The doctor may prescribe talk therapy or counselling. You may also need to take medication, which will not interfere with your AIDS treatment. It will only take a few weeks to start working, and you must continue to take it even if you do feel better. Tell your community healthcare worker. Share your sadness with her. They care for you as a whole person and will help. Consider going to a local support group. You can discuss your fears, concerns and worries with others in similar situations. They will not judge you, be critical or laugh at you. Make an effort to help yourself as well. Learn about both depression and AIDS. Have regular checkups. Stay away from alcohol and drugs. Take your medicines as you have been told, even if you have side effects at first. These you should report to your healthcare professional. You need to build your self-esteem. Do the things you used to enjoy. Go to church, watch soccer, take exercise every day, watch TV, go to the movies, listen to music or read. Be kind to yourself. Even wear clothes you feel good in. What can your family and friends do to help you? Share this book with them. Just by listening and sharing stories with you, they will make you feel better. They could visit you often, bring your friends. They should show you respect and dignity. Explain to them that depression is also a real illness and with treatment you soon will be feeling better. Encourage them to visit often. Let them hug you. Show them that they can touch you and hold your hand, whatever you are both comfortable with. Go with them on shopping trips, outings, or sit on the stoop, or in the garden with them, or in a peaceful place. Speed up your road to recovery by eating a healthy diet with plenty of fruit and vegetables and drink lots of clean water. Take your medicines at the right time as prescribed. Get as much information as you can. Remember, it is not your fault. People with HIV AIDS can live longer, healthier lives if they live positively. Share this book. If you don't have a support group, consider starting one to help your whole community. You may have AIDS. 
but you don't have to have depression as well. Depression is real and treatable.